how's it going? Welcome back to another six scale figure review with me, your host, That Metromania. And today we have the She Hulk Attorney at Law Yellow Ketchup, Yellow Ketchup, Mustard Ketchup Condiment Daredevil. So I'm not the biggest fan of this suit. Let's start by saying that. I don't like the yellow. However, I do like daredevil so i had to say yes to question one which was will i be buying daredevil did i buy the she hulk to go with it absolutely not that's not happening however let's see if this guy was worth the weight so here we have the box which is normal marvel box it's got a nice little piece of art on it you got the slide top and it's all red and yellow nice picture of him normal daredevil red another nice picture of him you know all together not too bad of a box but we don't care about the box do we not in the slightest let's get the figure out of here so i can say without a shadow of a doubt my initial impression is yep that's daredevil now the thing with this suit again that i don't like is the fact that it has the yellow splashes if it was all that lovely lovely maroon i'd be much happier but because it has those weird splashes of like mustard yellow just doesn't do it for me because it's in weird spots especially like like the cowl being it and like extensions of the shoulders and it's more on one leg than the other it looks like half the time it's because it is it is more on one leg than the other i think that or i'm just going crazy it's like slightly higher on this leg than it is on this leg so I don't know what's going on with that. That or it's just because the thing is in the way. So it's, yeah, I think it's the thing is in the way. So I'm just an idiot. But the yellow, not a good color with maroon. You know, white, black, gray, silver, sure. Yellow, not so much. Anyway, let's um get him off the spinning turntable of Doom here because he's probably getting dizzy from those extra senses and take a closer look at the yellow daredevil so mr daredevil here does come with a few fun accessories so he has as you saw the um the two sticks with the chain in between them which look great the chain is posable so you could do whatever you want with it just don't break it he comes with them without the chain which are supposed to go into this little holster here but I wouldn't recommend it because you're never getting it back out I just had to struggle for like five minutes to get it out he does have them also together as one stick. The other thing, other than the hands that he always, that everything always comes with, is he comes with a nice, fun Matt Murdock head sculpt. And I will do some comparing between this and the Soso -so Toys one here in a little bit. Oh, that is a small sculpt. All right, let's bring Mr. Daredevil on to center stage so starting out with that cowl we have as i said pretty similar to his normal sculpt except for it's got these splashes of silver which do look nice i like the splashes of silver here and there it's just the yellow that i don't like like it looks great here and on the side but the yellow mixed with the black here it's just not speaking to me i wish he had a couple extra mouthpieces or mouth plates as well so we could have a couple ranges of emotions, but that would have upped the price probably like 20 bucks. And, you know, they didn't want to do that. They just want to get this guy out and get him out quickly. Moving around the sculpt here, you do have some detail in the back. Some shines of silver here as if it's been, you know, worn and torn and the paint is like peeling and chipping off. That looks super cool. I think it's really well done. You can see it's all over the back here, depending on what angle you're looking at. You see... Look at that. That or the paint is just melting off of mine. But it does look great. I'm super happy. Well, I'm super happy to just have a Daredevil. I'll be more happy when we get the Daredevil show Daredevil. And if I could get that Netflix Daredevil in my collection at some point. Moving down, you can see he's still missing the double D's on his chest. And I'm not talking about what you think I'm talking about. I'm talking about the big D and the other big D on his chest for his Daredevil logo. I don't know why they've been scared to add that, especially in a suit so bold as to be yellow. 
Oh, can we go back up for a second? I'm so sorry. I don't like how this, it looks like it's like squeezing his head, but it also makes him look a little fatter in the head. It's got like that Batman Ben Affleck effect where it just kind of makes his head look fatter than it is. I don't know what it is about it, but I don't like it. Moving back down, scared of the daredevil chest, but we do have this lovely maroon outfit. It's got this tactical feeling to it. Doesn't have to worry about fake abs. It's got these shapes. Super nice. It's got this strap right here for no real reason other than to have a strap. Nice shapes on the back. The splashes of yellow aren't too bad here. It's kind of like a Spider-Man suit where it's got splashes of color every now and then of like blue or black. That's not bad. I do enjoy that. If it was more just like splashes, I'd be perfectly fine with it. But the fact that it's not is what kills me. A boring belt here. Nothing really going on other than the fact that it is there. Other than the silver in the back, which adds a little bit of emphasis to it. But the belt itself has just got a boring design, so I'm not really vibing with it. The shoulders and arms here have this split of yellow, silver, and maroon. It doesn't really flow all that well. As you can see here, it kind of just has like yellow here, silver up here, and around the elbow. And then maroon. It doesn't flow like it should. I'm not sure how it should flow, but it just doesn't really look that great. Coming down a little bit more, we got the hands. But you can have just like silver, yellow, maroon just splashed all over the place. Go down a little bit more camera, please. Thank you. You can see the wear and tear on the fists up here, which I feel like is all right. Um, it should be more on the actual fists for all the punching he does. Um, which is good. That's fine. Just normal maroon. Nothing here to stand out other than a few splashes of yellow here and there. The black, we have this black straps here to hold his, his sticks, which does look nice. Then we got this yellow leading into silver here, leading back into yellow, which again is weird combinations. Silver wrapped around that side, silver wrapped around that side. And we got these nice tactical boots that don't split cut. So all in all, Mr. Devil, devilish dare dog here. He's like a mixed bag of good and bads. Nothing I could do to fix it. He's just going to live with it, sit on a Spider-Man shelf for now, and then eventually he'll have his uh, other version, hopefully. Moving on, let's do some comparisons. I'm super excited to bring out a couple of Gaggle of Goons. Starting off with a little Matt on Matt action, we do have the Soso -So Toys Blind Lawyer 2.0, I believe that was the name with obviously the Hot Toys, She-Hulk, Daredevil. The lawyer version is slightly taller than the Daredevil version, which might just obviously be down to the fact that it is two different companies and the lawyer version did come out probably better to scale with the Netflix version, but I can't really tell because I don't have it. But it is weird seeing him being shorter in all the combat gear. I feel like with the boots, he'd be a little bit taller. Maybe I could fix that, but I don't think I should need to. They do look fun next to each other. You would never be able to really tell these are the same character with, you know, regular head sculpt and all that jazz. Where are you going, kitty? Thought my cat was going to make an appearance for a second, but he decided not to. But yeah, they do look nice to each other. They're going to look fun on the shelf together. But I'm really excited to see how that Matt Murdock sculpt switches out after these comparisons. Moving on. Next up, we have Daredevil next to Big Pimpin Pop-Up Kingpin. So this is the only version of Kingpin I do have, and I'm glad because I absolutely love this outfit. His big, imposing man in a beautiful Hawaiian shirt. And he is tall compared to Daredevil, as he should be, so that works. And he looks imposing compared to Daredevil, Daredevil as he should be. So I'm super happy with these two. Uh, hopefully we get a normal suit kingpin in a normal daredevil because then we can have like goofy outfits and serious outfits and this bug in my in my workstation i'm gonna send the cat after him so we're good but yes this is how these two compare in case you were going to plan on having these two next to each other because they are a goofy lot moving on i've got one more comparison just to throw it out there in case you wanted to know 
And before you ask, yes, my favorite suit obviously is the upgraded suit, so that is why I pick it for everything. Before you go Metro, there are more up-to-date suits. And no, I don't have the blue and red suit yet. So here is Daredevil next to Spider-Man in case you wanted to see how these two looked like next to each other. Since we didn't get to see them both suited up at the same time in the same movie, but we did get to see them suited up in the same movie in regular clothes. So if you wanted to do a Daredevil Spider-Man kind of thing, I probably should have used a sillier Spider-Man to go with a sillier Daredevil. I feel stupid. But this is what they look like next to each other. Anyway, let's do some sculpt swapping and sculpt comparing, shall we then? Welcome to the mini Switch of Sculpt section where we have the So So Toys Sculpt and the Hot Toys Sculpt. What? I'm not in the light enough. This is not going to work. So Hot Toys on the right, So So on the left. The neck is a little thicker on the Hot Toys and a little bit longer on the So So Toys. So we're going to have to see how this goes. So by default, Here's how the so, so one looks on the body. Looks nice. Doesn't fully look like matte and does look a little small at times, depending on what angle. Switching the sculpt, which is what I've been looking forward to, to see how it looks. So the Hot Toys one sits a little low, because like I said, the neck is slightly shorter. It is harder to get in there because the, the collar isn't designed for this head. But if I could get a slight neck extender, this might actually work out perfectly fine. Because I I do like the sculpt a lot. It looks really good compared to the... I mean, they both look good, but this one obviously looks better because it's got that Hot Toys quality to it. And it looks a little bit, like, more fleshed out. More to come on that at some point in my life if I can figure out how to make the neck a little bit longer. But for now, we'll see how far we get. Let's get, for now... Let's say for now a couple more times. To articulation, my favorite part. Favorite part of the video. And like always, life ending 360 degrees. With a bit up that far and down that far. A little bit of back and forth action. Nice ball fly. Up that far. Up that far. Back that far. Nice bend at the elbow. And freely moving hand. That does come off because it's that free. Crunch forward. Crunch backwards. Spread. Up that far. Look at that. Back not very much. Knee bend no problem. And no real articulation at the foot. So you get some cool action poses out of this. Out of, uh, so you get some cool action poses out of this guy. And that's all you really need. You don't need to go too much to town. Obviously, the most posable figure you should ever have in your collection is a Spider-Man. So, Mr. Yellow and Red, how about, how about we get to the end of the video then, shall we? He walked into the wall. He, he is blind after all. So, Mr. Murdoch here might not be in his Sunday's best, but he is doing his best to try to impress. And it's alright. He's not my favorite in the world, but I don't hate him because it's Daredevil. You know, you can't hate Daredevil. I just hate what they chose to make him, which is Dare Yellow. Um, he's going to go in the collection. He's going to sit there. He's going to be happy. He's going to get to chill with Matt here. He's going to get to chill with my other Daredevil. He's going to get to chill with all the Spider-Man. So, I mean, he's got a good life. He's got a good life looking up for him. It's just I wish... He had a better choice. I wish he had a better chance of survival with not being yellow. Yellow doesn't even... Yellow stands out at night. Maroon, it's a little darker, so you can't really see it. Yellow stands out. It's not very devilish of him at all. Where's the fire and the brimstone? But it's whatever. It's just a one-off outfit that got a nice little figure. What can you do? What can you say other than, hey, it's Daredevil. Whatever. So anyway... If you're getting this Daredevil, or if you have the Netflix one, let me know which one's your favorite. I would love to hear it. Or if you're just waiting for the new Daredevil show, and you're like, man, that'll be the Daredevil that I get, the Daredevil show one. Then let me know which Daredevil you're looking forward to. I'm just going to get whatever I can at this point. Hope that I can get my hands on a Punisher to go with them at some point.
And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and like the video because it helps the channel a lot. The channel's been doing pretty nice lately. And I would love if you guys loved it as much as I love making it for you. Because I do enjoy doing this stuff. I am standing in a kitchen right now doing a little dance, talking to you guys because it makes me feel ecstatic to share all of this stuff with you makes collecting feel a little bit more worthwhile. Always feel free to comment as well because I will respond to your comment with whatever I can help you with or whatever you want to talk about. I'm super into it. I'm super down for it. You can check my history. You can check my log books. I do it almost every time. Almost every time. There's some gibberish comments that I want to respond to. And with all that out of the way, I have been me and you have been you. And thank you for watching another six scale figure review. And hopefully you join me next time when we review something maybe new. I will see you then.